I live in this neighborhood for over 20 years. It's a real thrill and a dream come true to see this park. To meet with people and other cultures, I mean, see all around us, like there's Jewish, there's Christians, there's Muslims, like all kinds of type of people. Everyone's walking along and the amazing thing for me was everyone was so respectful. The atmosphere is really, really peaceful. And there's a positive energy, like you can feel it. Mm -hmm. I'd, I feel it. Trail Track Park, based upon the old uh, train tracks of the train which came up through the hills of Jerusalem into the city. A lot of the Arab population live down the road in Beit Safafa. And then you've got like more of the modern Orthodox in the Makor Chaim area. And then you've got like down this street, you've got more of um, a Sephardi population or a young person's population. But what's happening is that everyone's just coming out from the areas and because the train tracks go along the way of this whole area, people are coming and they're walking and you're just seeing the diversity of all the different people who live in, in Jerusalem and everyone's enjoying it. This park has a lot of potential for us different cultures to meet together and do things together. Uh, we're actually living here in Beit Safafa, so we always, all the time, we go here and play and stuff like that. We meet so many people. We do have uh, actually a friend here. Uh, her name is uh, Jessica. We met uh, actually by chance. She was coming like in front of me and she said like, Tai you too. And she said it with the Hebrew, of course. Now we're like friends and see each other all the time. I wish I didn't need... Basically the books are donated by the people who live in the area. There are books in any language that you can find. I even found books in Latin recently. It brings back something that is not uh, popular as it used to be, which is just hanging out in the neighborhood with your friends.